Hi everyone, we are back with our new video and this time we are in Hamburg. Hamburg is a city with the second busiest port in Europe. We are now heading to Hamburg city center by ferry. We took the ferry number 62 which is heading towards Landungsbrücken. We downloaded the HVV app for traveling within Hamburg city. You can find the link in the description box below. Until we reach the heart of the Hamburg city, let me tell you some interesting facts. Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany with a population of over 1.84 million which makes it the seventh largest city in the European Union. The city lies on the river Elbe. The surprising fact about the Hamburg is that it has more bridges than Venice and Amsterdam combined together. We bought the ticket for this one hour boat tour at the discounted price for 16 euros per person. This tour also took us to the Spikerstadt and the other side of the river where we saw huge ships getting parked at the docks. The idea of seeing Hamburg from the boat is really great and the city looks absolutely stunning. But honestly, if you are on a budget trip, then maybe you can skip this long tour and use the ferry which is part of the public transportation and still enjoy the Hamburg views. Spikerstadt is the world's largest complex of warehouses and also known as City of Warehouses. It is also Germany's 40th UNESCO World Heritage Site. The architecture of these buildings will surely make you visit this place. It is also home to the world's famous miniature wonderland.
impressive city hall is Hamburg's seat of government. Hamburg's senate, parliament and mayor all have their seats in the city hall. This classical building was built between 1884 and 1897. This beautiful place by the inner Alster Lake is only a couple of minutes walk from the Rathaus. Back in the 19th century, families used to visit this place with their unmarried daughters, hoping to find a wealthy man for them. Hence, the name of this place, Jungfernstig. We totally enjoyed being here in the evening right on the lakeside. The next morning, we headed towards the very popular Miniature Wonderland. This is situated in the district of Spikerstadt. We booked the tickets for 18 euros per person. If you visit this place during the odd times, you will save a couple of bucks and enjoy this wonderland with a lot less people. You can check the link in the description box below to book your tickets. This is the largest miniature wonderland in the world. You will be surprised to know that there are 1300 trains, 100,000 moving vehicles and 400,000 human being features and many other things to offer.
So this is the St. James Church, also called Jakobi Kirche in Germany. It's located in the city center. building and it's one of the major tourist attractions in Hamburg. So we are going to go to the Hamburg Plaza and I think the tickets are free there. So uh, yeah, we will have a very nice look around the harbour city from the top. You can see behind us this beautiful building looks and now we will be going over here on the terrace of this building and from there we will show you how the scene looks. Stay tuned and you will see the amazing view from the top. Well, this spectacular architecture is the Elf Philharmony. It has now become a new center of culture, social and daily life for the people of Hamburg and for tourists from all over the world. The best thing was we could go to the Elf Philharmony Plaza with a free ticket to enjoy the 360 degree panoramic view. So that was the point where we took our video before coming here. The basement of this plaza was known as Kaishpiker E, which was the warehouse for the tea, cocoa and tobacco.
While heading towards the Chile house, we witness this incredible building, Dijkstra Office Center. It is hardly 100 meters from the Chile house. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, Chile House, is very popular from the architectural perspective. It was designed to resemble the cruise ship. The construction of this building was completed in 1924. The church that we see today, its construction was completed in year 1912. Although heavily damaged during World War II, it has been fully repaired and even today it is listed amongst Northern Germany's most beautiful churches and important landmarks. This church offers 2,500 seats, making it the largest church in Hamburg. From the St. Michel's Church, we decided to walk towards Planten und Blumen Garden. And we are so happy we did that, otherwise we wouldn't have explored this beautiful street Peterstrasse. These identical and detailed buildings are definitely a great backdrop for filming and a place worth visiting. This park is open throughout the year and there is no entrance fee. There are several small gardens inside with a variety of plants and flowers.
We really enjoyed our time in Hamburg and we hope that you could also see this beautiful city through our video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please let us know in the comment section below. It really makes us very happy and keeps us motivated to make travel logs to guide others and show you all the best places. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, then do subscribe to support us and hit the like button. We will see you at the next destination. Until then, take care and travel safe.